Ivan for Spider-Man's Platinum Trophy, but not the one you may think of. Not the new one, the one from 2018. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> this Platinum has two steps, story and cleanup. So let's get right into it. The first trophy pops up after defeating Fisk. Right back at you. It does look super cool cinematically. And he's stuck. That was cool. Hey, that's the first trophy. After that, I'm free to do anything. But first, we're gonna focus on completing the story. If you're not interested in the story, skip to this point. Anyway, Peter Parker works for Dr. Octavius, helping him out in the lab, working on some long-armed robotic machine that is not going well. Outside the lab, Peter is Spider-Man, helping the police fight the crime. In one of the early missions, the police bestie, Yuri, asks Spider-Man to help with surveillance towers, which are basically uncovering the map similar to Assassin's Creed viewpoints. We fight few crimes and get a couple collectibles, which I am going to need to complete all of these things, so while playing, I am gonna grab these when around. Otto finds out about Peter being Spider-Man. She gonna find out that he's Spider-Man now. Of course, it's you. I only wish you told me sooner. I wanted to. We visit Feast, a homeless shelter where his aunt May works there and here we also meet the founder of Feast, Martin Lee, who seems like a nice guy. Then while investigating a possible break-in, Spider-Man sees some interesting enemies that have some sort of superpowers. Luckily, nothing can stop Spider-Man. And then we meet a very known person to Peter Parker, MJ, aka Michael Jordan. Then we magically began controlling MG, I meant Michael Jordan. Like, it's the 98th finals, game 6, and sneak past security, if you can even call it security, just the way Michael Jordan was sneaky and stole the ball from Karl Malone. We managed to get one mask, which we took to Martin Lee, and he says that it's very dangerous and means demons. Ooh, scary stuff. Back at the lab, one robotic arm worked until Mayor Osborne came and told that they stopped financing Otto's projects and you can see Otto getting a little angry. Then we defeat Shock after he tried to rob a bank. But of course, nobody can stop Spider-Man. Ooh, that should hurt. Shock and awe. We continue exploring Fisk's warehouse as demons are attacking these properties with the help of a fellow officer Jefferson Davis. We were able to track some demons and even stop them. Great stuff! And officer was about to get a medal of honor or something like that. But unfortunately, demon suicide bombers came out of nowhere and made a complete mess, killing officer Davis. Peter gets knocked out and we control his son Miles for a bit. Enough! We have to leave! Oh. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 that's Martin, that's the guy from the shelter, we see their boss, and the dad's probably dead. Dad. Dad, no! This was really sad, and Spider-Man wants now even more to take down the demons. Demons emerge. So, with the help of Michael Jordan, we keep digging more about them, and possibly Martin Lee, the main villain? Question mark, big question mark. Truck bombs, guns from Fisk's armory, demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Then a random Robocop looking private military showed up as apparently Mayor Osborne feels not safe. Silver Sable and her own military is literally silver, like even her hair is silver. At Feast we explore Martin Lee's office and find a secret entrance. Ooh. Yes. Oh, there we go. There is a secret entrance. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's very interesting. So it's only Osborne and nothing up. Okay, interesting. Hello, Peter. Oh, sh Did you find what you were looking for? That's dangerous now. Then we jump to another rodeo with MG, and this time it's in the Tombstones facilities. Mary Jane, exactly like Michael Jordan without Scottie Pippen in the 80s, managed to dominate Solo without no problems, and was able to steal some sort of device, same way Michael Jordan was able to win Defensive Player of the Year in the 1988 after averaging 3.16 steals per game, legendary stuff from both MJs. Basically, Oscorp which is Mayor Osborne's research company, has this thing called Devil's Breath, a deadly virus, and Martin Lee and the demons wanna steal it. Demons keep attacking Oscar facilities and trying to kidnap or get info from important people, and we even meet and face Martin Lee himself, in his negative colors. What is this thing? Not over. Oh my god! He's powerful. 
But because of Sable, we can't get any info about exactly what is happening. So we break into Oscorp and get some info. GR27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. And then we see another iconic MG performance, sneaking past Sable like it's the 91 MB finals, slithering her way with some acrobatic moves. Back at Otto's, the robotic arms are finally working and they look amazing. We help Miles and then we control him for a little bit, showing off his sneaky skills as he goes to help as a volunteer at Feast. Then we see Dr. Michaels, an Oscar scientist traveling with Devil's Breath. But of course, they got attacked, Devil's Breath got stolen, and we encountered Martin Lee in a very interesting battle. What is happening? What was that? That's some weird shit. What the hell? Is this a boss fight incoming? Oh, it is, okay. There's so many of them here. Oh my god. My abilities don't do anything to them. Okay. That's something. This is so weird. Oh, I have to destroy the mask. Okay, good. Okay, let's let's keep destroying the mask. Come on. Uh, okay, I think that's something happening. Okay, we we are out. Good stuff. Bonk, big bonk moment. And they're gone. Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. Very. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Big You're problem. And then another MG Rodeo and this time in the central station where Martin Lee is threatening to release Devil's Bread. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Don't tell me that's Martin Lee. Oh ho ho! Oh no, that is... Oh no. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, what is happening? Is he gonna release the Devil's Breath up here? Oh, this is not good. You know, it makes me feel like MG plays a bigger part in the story than Peter Parker actually is. Start the timer. Oh ho ho, timer is... Okay, let's, let's try to disarm this bomb. Oh god, this is gonna be a bit confusing. Yeah, this is very confusing. Red one has a little... Oh, I see it. Okay. Okay, now the red one. Got it. You did. I'm pretty much I just spammed every anything, but it works. Nice. I'm not sure that you, if you can even actually fail it, but whatever. Let's call that a, a massive big brain success. Where's the rest of them? Okay, oh, wait, they're here. Oh, it's boss fight time. Let's get it. Yep, spider webs are not doing anything. Actually, they are a little bit. Oh, they do seem to work. Good. But not for very long, so... How do I get the superpowers going? I forgot. Maybe I don't have them yet. Okay, little cutscene. More stuff. I was regaining powers from them. Okay, that's... That's quite... Interesting. Oh my god. Keep my distance for now. Now's my chance. Nice. Oh my god, he's attacking like crazy. No, jump. Oh, that was bad. He's getting tired. Let me help you, that's an insane boss fight though, gotta say. Oh! On to the next train, I guess. No! Oh, god damn it! I keep making the wrong dodge moves. No, that's the wrong one again. 
No! Oh, oh my, okay, I'm so sh I don't wanna hurt you! Nothing can hurt me! Not anymore! Oh, he's getting electrocuted. Time. Yuri, they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month. Why? Can he, like, possess the other people, though? I'm pretty sure he can do that, so, like, he'll escape eventually, won't he? And then shit goes down, because Otto is feeling his powers and is definitely planning something against Mayor Osborn. A massive prison break happens where four big enemies of Spider-Man escaped, Electro, Vulture, Scorpion and Rhino. And then on top of that, they're joined by Martin Lee and their boss, Otto. Yep, you heard that correctly. Just when you think that Peter Parker couldn't keep his enemy closer with Martin Lee, I was proven wrong, because Otto is even closer. Stay out of our way. Our way? Huh? I'm getting so confused right now. So he's the main bad guy? What? What the hell? The sixth assemble, and I think that's the second chapter then. That was interesting ending to the second chapter, not gonna lie. Didn't expect that. Oh, and then Otto released Devil's Bread in Times Square, which, not gonna lie, it reminded me a lot of COVID-19 pandemic. A deadly disease with no cure? Hmm, interesting. After that, the whole city turns into a complete mess, almost looking like an apocalypse is about to happen. We defeat Shock and Vulture. Okay. Oh, it's going down. Okay. Oh, grounded. Later, Rhino and Scorpion. Well, they're gonna have a fun time together. In search of info about the vaccine for Devil's Breath, we turn into the GOAT. MJ is back. He's back! <laughs> this time we sneak into Osborne's house, destroy the security, find a secret room where we find out some crazy stuff. We are rolling. I... What's this? Be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> What? Was that? Oh my god. Norman and Otto. They started all this. They created Lee. I, I have Damn. What? No! Uh oh. Who's there? Hey, you ready? Wait, wait, hold on. It's too late. You're up! And where's the Spider-Man? He's here! Let's go! Good stuff. You are crazy! We then go to an Oscar facility when we find and fight Martin Lee. Oh, oh shit! You used them. That's... that's... Oh. 
I guess is is what a boss fight incoming. Yep, seems like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like a super saiyan, you know, fast movements. Okay, we're getting there slowly. He's literally a f***ing super saiyan, like he even has the f***ing Kamehameha thing now going. Oh, there we go. Fight it, Martin! You can walk away! No! Motivational speaker? Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, this should be fine. Come on, fight him. Okay, wait, now I have to think, just avoid the arm, or what? I don't even know what I have to do. Wait, avoid it. Jump, jump, no, okay, that, that was enough. He's doing something, but I have no idea. I think he's like weak when he's like ghost normal. Okay, oh my god. Come on, we can attack him now. Go, 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 kill him. Go get him. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus. Come on. Okay, that's something. It's intense battle though. Very intense. Power force stuff. Ooh, nice kick. Nice, staying positive. I, th I think we just defeated them. Very nice. And just when I thought everything was Gucci, a wild auto appears and steals not only the vaccine but Mayor Osborne as well. Aunt May is sick, Miles gets bitten by a spider, spoiler alert for another game, and Spider-Man manages to heal himself in literally seconds. Eventually we face the biggest enemy, Otto. I'll turn over the anti-serum when Osborne pays for his crimes! Ooh. This works. We need more power, okay. I mean we need we need to basically to use my nets. Nice. Oh, let's go. Gotta move. What? What is happening? What is happening? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'll just do this for now. Wait, I can attack him, okay. It's a bit confusing, but we're getting there. Okay, this works. Okay. Ooh! What was that? Okay, interesting. Peter also suffers short memory loss during this fight because Otto clearly knew who he was, but Peter just forgot about that. Interesting. Such a disappointment. Parker. I mean, come on, he knows. You you told him he knew, didn't he? Oh my god. I swear to god he knew. I swear to god he knew though. Like, during one of the cutscenes. Is he gonna find out that he's Spider-Man now? Of course, it's you. I only wish you'd told me sooner. I wanted to. Can't you see all the people you're hurting? You'll never understand! <laughs> He keeps doing the, the same moves. Like he's gonna do the same like, like nice spin, like a ballerina. He was about to, to do it actually. Oh god, that looks painful. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. I couldn't agree more! Ah! 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 
Bye-bye. I have no idea how he's still alive though. Like he just had one of the claws when through his basically whole body. He should be dead or like bleeding. But he's not I mean I guess it is a fiction thingy, but whatever. It's always weird. I saw you as a son. I've worshipped you the way you never gave up. You were everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! We can fix it together. If you'll help me, do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arm! Oh no. Sounds like your problem. I'll be trapped in this useless body! Don't get manipulated. Don't get manipulated. You never abandon me. Peter? Oh no, he can't walk anymore. I have fallen and I can't get up. We got the cure, but sadly couldn't save Aunt May. Abs in the chat, guys. There we go, end game, finally. This is definitely now story completed. So after completing the game, I have achieved 17 out of the 51 trophies. During my playthrough, I collected all nearby collectibles and did some street crimes. And while doing that, I got a few trophies like collecting 5 backpacks, the first black cat collectible, 75 stealth takedowns and a few benchmarks. Nothing special, all these were unlocked naturally. Anyway, now my task is to do the massive cleanup and complete everything in the map. So the grind began. I had to complete every demon warehouse, sable outpost, fisk hideouts, get every collectible, take all pictures of landmarks and complete every single research station mission and prisoner camps. And of course, street crimes, when they spawn. If they spawn. Oh, Spider-Man about town. I think it's for greeting people actually on the street. Easy stuff. Nice, overdrive. That's for something. Nice! Inner Sanctuary. I guess, judging by the icon, that's for completing every demon warehouse. Probably? Mercenary tactics. Let's go. I think that's, I guess, the last Sable outpost. Lovely. I also went for a few miscellaneous trophies, like fast traveling five times and climbing the Avengers Tower. Okay. Where's that collectible? Ooh, Hero for Hire. So that's for climbing the tower, I think, of the Avengers. Lovely. Uh, what else do we have here? There's this one. While I'm at it. Easy stuff. Oh, that's the last one. All the Kingsmen. Yuri, Lovely. A bunch of There's a bridge I need to take a picture of. That actually might be the last one. Wait, I can kind of see it. Come on. Let me get it. Dude, it's like a pixel. I want to get it. There was... Oh, it's in frame. It was in frame. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Take it. Take the picture! God damn it. Okay, there we go. Is this the last one or not? Landmarks complete. Oh, never mind, there is. Sightseeing. Lovely stuff. Easy stuff. Back in the slammer. <laughs> You're going back to the jail. Okay, now we can get this last collectible. I think that's the last one. Yes, it is Backpacker. Lovely. Good grind. Okay, I can get hit. I can get hit. I'm fine. That did it. And the spider spins a data web. Lovely. The is, going to is this the last servers. one, though? Harry's work is safe. It is. R&D. Okay, let's go get this cat. Okay, and what's here? This looks like everything she stole. Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. Wine from Amagia Vineyard. Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? 
You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more flattering. Ooh. An outfit. Ah, she looks nice. Game. Cat prints. Then I began doing a bigger cleanup because apparently I need to get 100% completion in every district and that literally requires me to do everything. Every street crime, every side mission and worst of the worst, getting spectacular or better in every taskmaster challenge, which was painful to do. Okay, there's these challenges that I have to do. Okay, what is this shit? Oh, it's just stealthy challenges, okay? I do love some stealth stuff to be fair. We have a limited time, so we know. Should be fun. Okay. What? How am I supposed to get gold on this one? Ninja! But, but, but I did so well. How am I supposed to get gold? Like combo? Time bonuses, I guess? Damn, it's gonna be hard. Hey, good stuff. Fist, fist of furry, lovely. That was really good, actually. Follow the drone as it drops spy cams along its route. This drone is rapid. I missed it. Lovely. These are fairly hard. Okay, did, did I manage to get in time? It wasn't perfect, but it was decent-ish. Spy Hunter. Easy. Okay, I mean, that's, that's okay. There's another one up here, actually. That's nice. Oh, short fuse. Okay. Gotta follow that drone. Over. Now's my chance to grab the drone. Okay, that would seem pretty good actually. Good, but not perfect. Hope I didn't disappoint it's my insane coach. Fine. When you're dealing with maniacs, decent, decent. Nothing violence. nothing special, but challenge finder. Lovely. Oh. You favor your right leg. I understand what you were throwing my bomb. Oh wow. Okay, I'm getting kicked in my ass. Okay, he disappeared again. Oh wait, no, he's here. Master of Masters. A few side missions have trophies, like collecting every pigeon for Howard. Okay, that's the last pigeon. Oh, Pigeon Hunter. Defeating Tombstone. Okay. Oh, we're fighting. Probably. Yes. How is he still alive? Okay. Oh no! There's a fire! Ooh! A more powerful gun for him. The easy! At least, I hope that's the end. Could be more still though. No! Oh, he's actually give up. Hmm! <laughs> Tombstone Takedown! Okay. Nice! And completing every corrupted student mission. This particular chain of missions was quite annoying, as it required to travel all over the map every single time. Bit annoying, but there were some nice missions, however. First time. Is it finally over? I sure hope so. Oh, thanks. I don't know how to repay you. 
Money. Friendly neighborhood. Schooled. That's two trophies. I love it. Then I began doing things I should have done during the story, but no, I didn't do it. So I went and unlocked every skill. Will that give me a trophy? Yes, it is. Superior Spider-Man. Every outfit. Okay, snappy dresser. A suit for all reasons. Okay, so I think that's, yeah, that's every single suit, kind of. I mean, it says 97%. And crafted 15 upgrades. The scientific method. I mean, upgrading my equipment probably is not the smartest thing when you complete the game completely, but still something. Science FTW. I think that's science for the win, right? Nice. Anyway, after that, apart from completing every crime to get 100% in every district, there were a few other trophies left that I went on to do because the crime grind was getting really boring. In Otto's lab, there are little puzzle projects, and completing them gave me a trophy. There we go. That wasn't too hard, actually. Is that all of them, though? A bit of a fixer upper. Chaining four unique skills felt hard until it actually didn't. I wanna reach a tall building. Should be fine, right? Or do I have to do, like, four different types of moves for that trophy? It does seem like they're four different types of moves. Well, oh, shit. So let me do this, spider roll, right? These things, let me do this, all these rolls. Did I did it or not? I don't think I did it. Oh, there we go, sticky and tricky. No, that was actually pretty easy. Just had to do some tricks. Okay. Wait, I think I have to use my... The trip mines. Because there's a trophy for the trip mines. Okay. Lovely. I think that they got them paired up, right? Yes, there is a pair. Uh, they're into each other. Uh, that doesn't look legit at all. Okay, whatever. Okay. Good. Ooh, ooh. Hug it out. That's the one for the 10 pair trip mines thingy. Nice. Nice. Is this the whole district complete? I think so. Yes, neighborhood watch. Okay, now we just have to do that with every district. Hmm. I guess it's gonna be a grind. Then me myself, without any help of a map, found Uncle Ben's grave and paid respects. Elves in the chat, guys. Is this the graveyard? Oh, this is the graveyard. Oh my god, I actually found it by my own. Let's go. Where is it? Oh, wait, 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 I see something back there which I can interact with. So that's probably the... yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, okay. Doing my best I think it should be giving me a trophy, actually. Nice, with great power, something. Nice. I actually did it by my own, without looking at the map on the internet. And then, yeah, crimes. There's a lot of them. Like, over 100 in total. And they kinda spawn randomly. I tried a few strats, and this is what worked for me. Every 10 seconds, I would enter the map and wait for like 10 to 20 seconds, and then a crime would spawn most of the time. Later, I found another strat, chilling on top of a police station satellite dish. Surprisingly, this strat spawned these events also really fast, and I didn't have to enter the minimap all the time. Oh, there we go. Let's go get it. This is gonna be easy. More incoming. That's it. That's it. And let's wait for the trophies now. I heard Manhattan. And... Be greater. Let's get it. Platinum trophy. This was fun actually. Apart from the grind at end, but overall, I actually like this game a lot. Anyway, this was Spider-Man's Platinum. Thanks for watching.